Today we'll be talking all about BART, the new AI assistant by Google. I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to use it, and why do I believe it's a true competition for ChatGPT. Let's go. First step, go to Google and type BART. After you do that, you're going to choose to sign in. You're going to choose a Google account of your choice to set it all up. Important things to know. It's available in English, Korean, and Japanese. You can use it in Safari, in Firefox, and in Chrome, of course, in Egeum, and in Opera. You need to be 18 years old or over to start using this AI tool, just letting you know. And that's all that you need to do to set up your BART account. So let's continue to what else it can do. So after you set it all up, now it's time to start using BART. So the first thing is you can go and enter a prompt here where it says you can enter any questions that you have, any content ideas that you want BART to answer for you, any posts that you wanted to write for you. So I did this. I asked, can you share a post that explains why storytelling matters so much to build a strong personal brand? And I asked the same thing to ChatGPT because I wanted to know their response. So BART not only gave me the posts that I asked for, it gave me suggestions, it gave me ideas to make it better, and it also offered me personal brands that I need to pay attention to. That is incredible. It offered me more than I asked for. I did the same thing, and I asked the same thing to ChatGPT, and it gave me exactly what I said, gave, share with me a post that offers why storytelling matters to build a powerful personal brand. It wrote it as accurate as it could, because ChatGPT is great. I won't let it say that it's not good. It's a wonderful. So then I said, okay, let's take it a little step further. Can you show me pictures of personal brands? Like how should a picture be if you have a personal brand? It showed me the pictures. I went to ChatGPT. It didn't show me the pictures. It only showed me, or sorry, explained to me which personal brands I need to look, look for and see the pictures of those personal brands. So that is pretty great. Another thing that you can see by using BART is that after you finish searching or looking for something, you can Google it, okay, after finishing it. Also, you can export it and send it to Google Docs or directly to a draft in your Gmail. So that's pretty cool. And as ChatGPT, you can reset your chat if you want to. You can see your BART activity to see what you have done before. You can turn it into a dark theme if that's something that you want. But it always, I want you to, be, to remember this. The answers by BART and by ChatGPT are not 100% accurate and they both say the same thing. You need to pay attention to this. So right here it says, BART may display inaccurate or offensive information that doesn't represent Google's views. So it's important to know that the BART, although it's an AI system by Google and it's ChatGPT, is its own AI tool. The answers are not always accurate and some answers can, can be offensive or can be 100% inaccurate. They have nothing to do with what you're looking for. That is something you really need to pay attention to and need to focus when you're looking and investigating and using these AI tools. So I hope this helped you. Right now, we'd like to see what team are you, ChatGPT or BART? Remember, BART is 100% free. ChatGPT has a free version and a paid version. So let me know what is it you enjoy the most. Are you going to start using BART? I would love to know the details right here below. Thank you so much. All the best.